I didn't have internet access on my computer, so I used my phone. And I was tweeting a lot that summer, and I started realizing, like, oh, I can reach out to recruiters on Twitter. And a number of them would respond and say, hey, send your resume. And I was like, sure. And that's how I got from my mom's couch in Springfield, Massachusetts, to San Jose, California, after graduation, working for Google as a technical recruiter. So my name is Joshua Encarnacion. I always tell people to do the R, Encarnacion. So I was born in Manhattan, New York. Mommy was born in Queens, New York. And I was semi-raised in New York. I actually spent a lot of time between New York and Massachusetts. And every time I'd visit New York, I would be visiting my grandmother and my uncles who essentially raised me. Um, because my father, when we moved to Lawrence, when I was nine years old, was deported. And so my mother, would raise me with the support and guidance of her mother, my grandmother, who barely spoke any English. The college football coach introduces me to college now at the University of Massachusetts Dartmouth, which is a program. And so I started studying and I was in the College of Engineering because of the College Now program. But at the end of my sophomore year, I was like, this isn't me. And so I switched to the School of Business. And that's where I met probably the most like influential person in my life, my mentor till this day. He asked me one question that kind of shifted it all for me, which I think is what like enabled my tech career. He looked at me and he said, look, I can tell you are gonna work hard regardless of what you do. Uh, like, what do you wanna do? And like, he meant it. I told him, I was like, look, I don't wanna be an engineer, but I wanna manage engineers. Having accepted that in that class, I was like, okay, cool. I don't want to necessarily have to be the person that figures everything out, but if I can get the team to come together to figure things out and communicate clearly, then that's a skill. There's definitely a misconception that if you don't have hard coding skills, you don't have a job in the tech industry. That's not true. Early on in my career, I had strong faith in the fact that communication skills matter. There's accounting, there's finance, there's marketing, there's recruiting, there's sales, there's all types of roles that black and brown people are really good at. <laughs> like we're all really good at being people and keeping things human and that's what the tech industry needs. So what does it mean to be Latino at the tech companies I've worked at, right? On the job, in the office. And what that means to me is if I just show up as who I am, I'm making a difference. And like, every day I had to remind myself, like, I'm still lucky. And like, every day I had to remind myself, like, I'm in a privileged position. I'm a tech industry professional, proud Dominicano, East Coaster on the West Coast. I definitely love to read, but I also love to dance bachata. Even with all that said, I'm much more than that. Hola mi gente, my name is Carolina Guaranca Mendoza and I'm on the board of Latinas in Tech. And by day, I have the absolute privilege of investing in tech startups as a scout for Lightspeed Venture Partners. We are delighted to have you back today for day three of LTX Fest. Today's theme will be Latinx entrepreneurship. Our speakers will give you an inside perspective at venture capital investing, as well as the process of bringing innovative tech products and companies to life from the ideation stage to funding and scaling a company. You can almost think of this as a crash course in company building and investment with three incredible tracks to choose from. As the tech sector strives to become more inclusive, we need more Latinx representation on the founder and investor table to increase investment in us because we are the future of entrepreneurship. Generational wealth is being created in tech and our community should not be left behind. So today is for us and by us. Welcome to day three. and I'm the proud co-founder and CEO of Shop Latinx. We're the leading lifestyle and fashion brand for Latinas in the US. Um, and it's a passion project that I started four years ago. Um, 
because I was on the search for community as a Central American woman that grew up in Los Angeles, um, you know, and I'm second generation, I didn't feel a closeness to my Latina roots. Um, and Shop Latinx became that safe haven for me to connect with people within my community and amazing artists and creators. And it wasn't until two years ago that I immersed myself into the tech sphere via the Latinx Fest, um, the first year that they launched. So I'm happy to be here. It is a wild full circle moment. Thank you guys so much for supporting my journey and you know, wish us the best of luck as we continue to navigate these VC and tech spaces and scale shop at next to be the leading lifestyle brand in the US. Thank you. Saludos desde Los Angeles. Badirish Benewarash, that means hello community in Zapoteco, the language of our ancestors from La Sierra Juarez in Oaxaca, Mexico. We are proud of our culture and heritage and are happy that our native tongue is alive to this day. We believe that our generation and future generations must honor, preserve, and celebrate the multicultural abundance that our ancestors have gifted us. We should be proud and celebrate Indigenous Peoples Day every day, not just once a year. I am Alan David, a descendant of the Indigenous Zapotecas and Teotihuacanos from Mexico. I am passionate about advocating for multicultural creative collaboration and economic empowerment. As a social entrepreneur, I am wholeheartedly committed to helping close the opportunity gaps and the digital divide to help catalyze inclusive entrepreneurial growth. I'm Orlando Leon, a social entrepreneur, and I am committed to empowering the small business community operating in underserved communities. Remember that in unity, todo es posible. My name is Salinas Leguizaman. I am a practice manager at AWS professional services based in Miami, Florida. I am from Dominican Republic. My family and I came to the United States when I was eight years old. Even though my parents did not speak English, they encouraged my siblings and I to get an education. Thanks to their support, I studied computer engineering. I was one of the very few women in my program. My first job out of college was with IBM. I then obtained an international MBA in Madrid. Through my experience, I've learned the power of education and the many opportunities that it can open up. I feel blessed to live in this amazing country, have an education and live out my biggest dreams. But my biggest passion is to be engaged with my community through mentoring, volunteering, and helping to highlight all the amazing talent in the Latinx community. Coming from immigrant parents, I've, I've learned the value of working hard, being honest, and never giving up. These are core characteristics that make the Latinx community so special. I am one of the founding members of the Latinx at AWS Professional Services affinity group whose mission is to create a space for Latinx tech professionals to grow and thrive. Also to recruit the best Latinx talent. Yo soy Latina. I'm in tech. I am Dominican. I'm passionate about my culture and my community and I'm still so much more. Thank you. 